Hello, and thank you so much for taking some time out of your day today to learn some very important skills of hands-only CPR. My name's engineer Tony Blasick, and I have Chief Chris Way here, and he's got some very important statistics to talk to you about hands-only CPR. Hey, thanks, Tony. So obviously, cardiac arrest is something uh, we hate to deal with, but we do deal with. And so we wanted to just give you a few statistics today about what cardiac arrest looks like in our community. So nationwide, 356,000 people a year go into cardiac arrest outside of a hospital. 70% of the time, that happens at home. Another fact that I think is really fascinating is that when hands-only or CPR prior to first responder arrival happens, you over double and sometimes almost triple your opportunity or your chance of survival from an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. Finally, I think it's important to note in our community specifically, only 52% of the time do people who go into cardiac arrest and call 911, do they receive CPR prior to first responder arrival? So before a fire truck or a police car gets there, only half of the time are people getting CPR. So that's why it's so important for us to make sure that we teach you CPR, you, you learn and take the next few minutes to learn it and then be able to save a life. So thank you for taking time and we are going to teach you the skills on how to improve the chance of survival by two to three times. So according to American Heart Association, if you have an unresponsive teen or an adult with hands-only CPR, there are two easy steps. Number one, you're gonna call 911. So take out your cell phone, dial 911, put it on speakerphone and place it aside. The second step is to push hard and fast in the center of the chest. You're gonna follow the patient's ribs up to where they come together, place your finger there. The base of your palm goes directly above that finger in the center of the chest. You're gonna lock your elbows and your shoulders and you're gonna go straight over the top and compress as hard as you can at a rate of 100 to 120 beats a minute. Now, if you need a song to go to, you can sing Staying Alive in Your Head, and you're gonna just continue to compress the chest until EMS responders arrive. Okay, so now it's your turn to practice. So get ready with your mannequin. We're gonna pretend we have an unresponsive teen or an adult. Step one is to pull out your phone, call 911, put it on speakerphone, place it aside. Find your hand placement. We're gonna push hard and fast in the center of the chest and we're gonna do our compressions. And we're doing our compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 beats a minute. And I'd like you to do approximately one to two minutes of compressions. Thank you so much for taking the time today to learn hands-only CPR. I hope you enjoyed the opportunity to get to practice the skills. And Chief, if there's one thing I've learned in this career is that you don't know when you're going to need these skills and you don't know who you're going to need these skills for. Uh, Tony, so we've thrown out a lot of statistics today and I 100% agree with you on that. So thank you so much for taking time uh, to learn this invaluable life-saving skill. Wear your sticker proudly and thank you for learning how to save my life.